Hey guys, welcome back to the page and welcome to this video that's quite a bit different than the normal stuff I create. So um, as I was approaching the 1000 subscriber mark, I really wanted to uh, to put together a video just to throw out there. And uh, I mean, number one, thank everybody for subscribing to the channel, but also just to talk a little bit about uh, how my journey went to go from zero to a thousand subscribers. So first of all, Welcome to the page. If this is your first time here, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And uh, when you do click that subscribe button, don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified when I release new videos and new content. So without further ado, um, let's talk about this. So, uh, oh, another thing that I was gonna mention is I uh, started a Facebook group called The Lighter Side. I'll throw a screenshot in here. Uh, if you wanna follow us, uh, if you wanna join the Facebook group, feel free. And uh, that's where we're posting, I guess, YouTube page related content. So feel free to join the group if you do so desire. How the journey went from zero to 1,000 subscribers. So in January of 2019 is when I started my page. And uh, honestly, for a long time, I had been thinking about starting a YouTube page and finally jumped in. One of the biggest uh, problems I think that a lot of people have with uh, their YouTube pages, or at least that I had, was what content are we gonna throw out there that's gonna keep people interested and that uh, people really wanna be a part of and wanna watch. So um, what I did was basically started food delivery stuff and I started vlogging my food delivery. And uh, what that allowed me to do was have content to post on, on YouTube. Um, I also fly model airplanes, which you can kind of might see in the background as we go through this video. But um, the, unfortunately in Calgary where we live, uh, it's winter for like half the year, so there's not a lot that goes on. So on my other page, The Lighter Side of Us, um, I actually vlog all my, uh, my builds of planes, which I do for other people as well as myself. So. Anyways, uh, that's how my YouTube channel, I guess, got started. It took me over a year to actually hit a thousand subscribers. I know there's plenty of other channels out there uh, where people hit a thousand subscribers in a week, in a month, in, how, in six months, some people take years. For me, it was a year journey. I wasn't overly concerned about my number of subscribers, except the fact that in order to get monetized now on YouTube, you need a thousand subscribers as well as 4,000 watch hours. So obviously one of the goals is to get to a thousand subscribers, but for me, it was more of a creative outlet and um, it's something I always wanted to do. So I guess it was part of my bucket list. All right, so it was in January of this year, 2020, the end of January that I actually hit a thousand subscribers. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'll throw up a screenshot that shows the past year of how my subscriber number actually changed. And so basically you can see through there, January we had eight subscribers to begin with. I think, you know, some of those were my family members. Uh, February 39, uh, March 57, 62, May 90, June 60. Uh, I kind of continued at those numbers until October when uh, it jumped up to 103, November 94, December 113, January 157, and February so far is 107. So there's definitely consistent growth. Um, and that brings me to another, my next point, I guess. Let's talk about some of the strategies I used um, over the past year to grow my channel from zero to 1,000 subscribers. Uh, the first thing was, I guess, getting started, which we've talked about. You know, if you're thinking about doing this, just jump in, get started, make it happen. And, and the second thing that goes along with getting started is consistency. So that's definitely one of probably the most important things with YouTube is just consistency for your subscribers, for YouTube, for the metrics. Um, basically always releasing videos and doing it in a consistent manner. Now, I don't have upload days, like I know some people release a video every Sunday, once a week, every Wednesday, whatever it is. For me, it's um, I try and do a couple videos a week, depending on how busy I am. So it's just continually uploading videos and uh, consistency. The next thing with getting started, guys, was when I first started, you watched some of my previous videos, my very first videos. If you go to my page, click videos, scroll all the way down to my first videos, uh, the quality wasn't good. Um, I was doing all the recording with my phone 
and uh, but I got started. That's the important thing, right? I got started and I just did it. Um, now I'm using a GoPro. That's what this is being filmed with right now. Obviously, it's not ideal. Don't have a specific microphone, but as the channel grows, we can morph into that and we can also uh, reinvest some of the money from uh, now being monetized into possibly getting better camera equipment in the future. The next thing I did was do some research, right? Um, I would watch a lot of the um, um, people that maybe I was trying to model my YouTube page after, watching a lot of videos where guys or, or girls or people had a lot of subscribers, checking out their content, checking out their thumbnails, just seeing the style of their videos, and that's always a continual thing. Um, I definitely don't think that you can, you can be on YouTube now and just be stagnant. Um, I think there's some, you know, big, big channels out there where um, them doing the same video over and over and over again is okay. But for us newbies, uh, you definitely, I think, need to constantly grow, constantly improve, and constantly educate yourself on how to make better videos and better content. Learning from those that are successful is important. You know, if you want to learn anything uh, in life uh, or on YouTube, maybe look at those that have had success and try and model, not copy, but model your channel after them or model your um, what you've done after them. Okay guys, the other thing that I started doing and you can see this progression through my videos as well is really focusing on good quality thumbnails. So if you look at my very first video, the thumbnails are not good. Didn't have any idea what I was doing, but now, even now my thumbnails are okay. I can definitely improve on it, but um, the thumbnails are important because you know, you're looking at uh, people are on YouTube, your video might be getting recommended, and you're looking at that little tiny like half inch by half inch picture, and it's gotta be captivating. Uh, I'm definitely not a fan of clickbaity thumbnails and uh, and titles, but the, the thumbnail definitely should be captivating, simple, um, it, it's important. So the other thing, guys, too, is, is really niching down, I think. Um, and that's what I did initially to get started. And I think going forward, it's going to be something I do. I'd also like to focus in on, on doing more stuff, maybe more um, uh, YouTube-specific things, but also sharing with everybody my growth and what happens um, as your YouTube page grows. I like to be completely transparent with this stuff. Um, I've, I've done income videos that have been completely transparent and uh, I think it's helpful for somebody that's looking to get started in YouTube or get started in whatever your niche may be, but it does really help to niche down and really focus in on something specific. Okay guys, and the last thing I really want to talk about is, is retention rates. Um, now my average retention rate over the past uh, year is about five minutes. So my videos range from about 15 minutes to 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and the average view is, is five minutes, right? So there's some people that watch it the full way through, there's some people that only watch 30 seconds, and that averaged out for me over the past year uh, for all my views to be five minutes. So you really wanna create good videos that keep your audience on the video, and that's something that I know from my experience and research and my me watching other people's videos um, on how to do YouTube better. Basically, focus on audience retention and keeping audience, uh, basically you guys, engaged in the video. Very, very important. All right, guys, so that's basically the summary of the video. Uh, really, really wanted to put this together, share a little bit of my journey with you guys about how it went over the past year from zero to 1,000 subscribers. If you guys have any specific questions, make sure you post them below. I will answer all the questions, and uh, I'll give you my best um, answer that I can give you. I may not know the answer, but I can give you my side of the answer, and uh, hopefully that'll help you guys out. Now, I plan on releasing some more videos. Uh, the next one I'll probably release with this type of uh, content is going to be my first um, month of monetization. So today is uh, February 11th and uh, my channel was monetized two days ago, I think on the 9th or maybe three days ago on the 8th of, uh, of February. And I'm going to release a video on the first month. Um, we'll see how it goes. You know, I'll, I'll give you a little snippet. My first day, I made 50 cents. My second day, I made uh, $2 or $1.50. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Definitely not, you know, raking in the cash, but it's it's kind of interesting to see that that grow and see the number change over time. And hopefully you guys will be interested in that as well too. But I will I will share that. So if you want to make sure you get notified about that video again, 
hit that subscribe button down below, hit the bell. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and uh, I'll definitely try and keep releasing good videos for you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to, to join that Facebook group if you're interested in staying in touch. And it also allows just a little bit more communication, uh, a little better communication with me and some of my, uh, my original subscribers. So thanks guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and we will see you in the next one.